Today we'll be talking about how people get themselves in uh, trouble, in big financial trouble, sometimes lasting for months, uh, when they need the plumbing service and call a plumber. Um, for, the, for the ones of you who are looking for a quick answer, I tell you right away. If you are using a search engine on your phone to look for plumber, you're toast. You will end up getting hosed by the plumbing company because these are almost exclusively plumbing companies. And um, you'll be recovering for months, if not years, from the bills. The bills are huge. Now, I give you an example from yesterday. Tonight, uh, Today is uh, Saturday, and yesterday was the last day of the week I worked. <coughs> and I give you three examples. I used to work for my own, but uh, now I work for someone else, because if you work on your own, uh, even though I'm ticketed and with over 25 years of experience, I do not get uh, neither the pay nor respect from the customers that I should. So there's no satisfaction in it. So now I work for a big company. I get the pay and I get the respect. Hmm. Doing the same job, the same tools, the same experience. Now listen what happened yesterday. Yesterday I had three calls. One was in Coquitlam, so it's the suburb of Vancouver. Anyway, uh, I fixed some, uh, some um, water leader, you know, on the corner of the house, flushed the line, which was backing up. Everything is working fine. Bang, I was gone. Now, the people got the bill over $1,200 for about two, two and a half hours. $1,200 plus Canadian dollars. And, uh, well, if it was me working only for, for myself, yeah, they would have paid 250 Now they paid 1200 Another call was in western posh, very posh part of Vancouver. There's some big high-rise, you know, insurance involved, uh, some leak, you know, through the floor. There were two companies, some kind of handyman, you know, it's... Uh, uh, hired by strata management, uh, just guys, they didn't know what they were doing anyway. They had no clue what, what was happening, etc. Like I told you, 25 years of experience help, helps. So I figured it out and they got the bill around $1,000 for like an hour and a half. <laughs> nice, eh? Now, um, if it was me, they would have paid 150 bucks. That's about it. Now they got $1,000, a little bit more. And the last call, it was <coughs> at UBC, University of British Columbia, somewhere on the grounds, uh, at some private residence. And, uh, <laughs> well, you can even um, figure out yourself that it wouldn't take too long to redo, or remove the carburetor and redo the drains underneath the kitchen sink. Uh, so, well... We had to step out to get some parts. Bottom line is, it was about two hours or so. And uh, people got the bill uh, slightly over $700. $700. And they were happy about it. And you know, if it was myself, if they would gotten with the parts. Uh, the parts are pretty expensive. So they would have gotten the bill 100, 170 maybe 180 And then, now they paid $700. All because of this, that they disrespect licensed, ticketed, let me repeat this, licensed, ticketed plumbers who are working on their own. So those plumbers go to big companies. And then the only difference the customer pay is four or five times the price they would have paid had they respected tradesmen. They don't, so they get hosed. And that's the truth.